The introduction of the, of the CAN network showed that we were really lacking in communications training. So we put this program together, but we felt it needed to cover more than just the newest communications, CAN. We went back 20 years, because when we get involved in this, we find it's bigger than just one thing. We've got engine, PCM, PCM being powertrain, which usually includes transmission, ABS, which is talking to the body computer, talking to the PCM, transmission, which is talking to all these others, CCD bus, which is an old bus at Chrysler, the body computer, which is tying in between PCM and security. All of these have to talk. And what we're going to be doing in this program is taking you beyond the routine stuff. When we have a routine failure, we get a bus monitor status like this, and we see which buses we cannot talk to. In this case, we're showing an example. Body computer doesn't talk, and we're asking you the question. Do you need the body computer communications for security? And the answer is yes, you do. What happens when nothing can talk? We have a total bus failure. Your scan tool is no longer of value to you, or it's on a bus the scan tool doesn't talk to. We have other things we're going to look at. We're going to get down into the nitty-gritty of all of the different specifications. This is the ISO 9141. It's used in the import vehicles from Europe and Asia. Two pins are predominantly used, and we're going to go into all the details, but we're going to get down to the nitty-gritty here. We're going to talk about taking a diagram and understanding what diagrams are like. Now, if you're looking at this, you're seeing a lot of different things. We've highlighted a diagram showing you where all the PCI bus goes. Now, the point we're going to make with this is on this particular vehicle, which happens to be a Chrysler, you'll be able to communicate with the scan tool, but the security system and some other things can't communicate if this bus is down. You've got to understand total rules, not just a little bit. You've got to become expert. But once you become expert, you can diagnose this very easy because we're going to take you through and we're going to show you the lab scope diagrams. What we're going to do is show you how to take and interpret exactly what's going on. Not the numbers of ones and zeros, but do you have communications? Are they normal? Should this be communicating? Can we validate the signal is good at the input of a module? If the signal is good at the input of a module, yet the module cannot communicate, then it's a matter of checking. B plus and ground, if B plus and ground is good and it can't communicate with a known good signal. And that's a little more complicated than this taking a real once over light finish here. It gets to be very in depth. We're going to show you the settings to make on your scope like we're doing here. Because when you find out, you're looking at this one, we're on a 20 volt scale now, quite a bit different than the 500 millivolt scale we're just on. So all of these different systems we're going to be looking at, and we're going to tell you how they have to operate, and that's going to make the difference. You're going to be able to accurately validate the data at the input to a module. If you can validate the data to the input of a module, then you can validate the module in communications. So this is going to go far more in depth than what you may be thinking of. So take the time to look at the front training, the introduction, introduction to diagnostics, Understand which communication system is used for different vehicles. And then you've got individual systems you can go look at so that you focus directly on diagnosing a vehicle in front of you.